In this lecture, I am going to provide the concluding remarks on the classification approaches that we have seen. We have covered four classifiers each of these categories, the nearest neighbors approaches. It's a full family of classification approaches. We have covered just one of them. From probabilistic approaches of classifiers, we have used the naive-based classifier. From the logic-based classifiers, we covered the decision tree classifier. And from the weights-based classifiers, we have covered the linear classifier. There is a lot more in these families of classifiers to explore. However, we have got a good flavor of what these classifiers are and how they operate. The classifiers can be, can be broadly decided into two different categories, the instance-based classifiers and the model-based classifiers. The instance-based classifiers do not learn anything and therefore each time they have to decide the label for an unseen document, they have to consult the training data over and over again. This type of model is called a lazy model approach. This is the one that we saw with the KNN approach. Each time it has to decide the label for an unseen document, it has to consult all the training data and therefore this type of models take more time in deciding the label for an unseen document. On the other hand, the model based classifier takes more time in training, for example, identifying their tree from the training data or calculating those probabilities. However, once the model is being trained, the training data is not needed anymore and therefore these models are very efficient in deciding the label for the test documents. On the other hand, we can also differentiate between the different types of models as parametric and non-parametric classifiers. Non-parametric classifiers are the ones that can come up with any kind of a solution. For example, the nearest neighbors classifier or the decision tree classifier. These type of classifiers can come up with any kind of a solution and, is, and are not restricted for a particular kind. In contrast to that, the parametric approaches like we saw the linear classifier has to come up always with a linear solution. So it will never give you a quadratic or a cubic solution. It will always give you a linear solution because the formula is rigid and is already restricted to that of a line. The weights are to be calculated from the training data and those weights are going to decide the orientation of this line. However, it will always going to be a line. The same way neural networks also falls into the category of parametric approaches where the model has to learn diff the values for different weights from the training data. However, it cannot alter the, st the structure of the way those weights are used in the formula.